Bounce back in a step. He was, to me, the longest guy in the league, but that was the best player not to make an all star team. Yeah, oh yeah. Changed a couple of years ago, and rightfully so. Paul George knocks in the jumper. You can't allow them just to move the basketball freely. If so, they'll pick you apart. That's why they're efficient and speaking about picking. You know, I was reading reports on yahoosports.com, and you know, it was talking about the Clippers in general and everything, uh, but also. It also gave uh, somewhat of an update on Kawhi Leonard. And, you know, reading the report on Yahoo Sports specifically, it's no timetable for Kawhi Leonard's return. And, you know, the next three to four games, you know, Ty Lue actually spoke on some of this as well. You can actually go to Yahoo Sports and check it out. You can see Ty Lue's comments and what he spoke on after, uh, you know, the uh, loss to the uh, Utah Jazz last night. And he spoke on it, you know, by by saying that, you know, Kawhi Leonard is is progressing very well he's he's coming along he's doing a lot of workouts and stuff like that on his own getting the treatment and everything stuff like that the frustrations are still that still there but he's progressing very well how they want him to and um you know everything is looking more up towards the situation nothing's looking down in regards to it but there is no timetable for his return now we all know um you know, after, you know, after hearing something like this, if this continues throughout the season or something like that, of course, then, you know, I, if, if Kawhi Leonard is not healthy, they have no chance of winning a championship. I mean, it, it it's it, it would be it would be super tough for them to win a championship if Kawhi is not going to be healthy, you know, um, you know, throughout this season, getting through the season, going to the postseason, of course, you know, without Kawhi, it, it'd be I mean, <laughs> I don't want to say impossible, but it, it's definitely it's definitely be very very tough for them to win a championship without Kawhi Leonard um I don't think they can but um they need to find a way to get him healthy um I don't really know what's going on with this situation you know to the T I, I'm I'm getting more uh my, my sources people to look into it more so I can provide as much information as I can because I'm really kind of confused about this because you know um it's been 15 16 months you know since Kawhi has played and um you know, when you looked at all the workouts and all the, the you know, him getting bigger, stronger and uh, all those things in the off season before the preseason started and everything. And actually, he was doing workouts and stuff last year, you know, pregame, some games before the end of the season. You know, you would see him out there practicing, putting up some shots, shooting, getting his rhythm going, all these things. So you would think by now everything would be, you know, OK for him to go out there and really give it a try. And I, I just think, you know, there is a, um, a division here. I think a little bit of Kawhi is, you know, um, frustrated because, you know, he's not playing the way he would envision himself playing. But there is still some complications with the knee in regards to like stiffness and things like that. And like I said, he's getting treatment and everything. He's progressing well. Tyloo said that on Yahoo Sports. And he also said that there is no timetable for his return the next three to four games. You know, they really don't expect to see him back. You see what I'm saying? So um, it might actually play out exactly how I said before the season started, because I told you guys that you know there could be a situation where Kawhi might play game five game 10 of the season you know something like that and, and, and um or he might you know be pushed back a little bit in regards to his his play you know for this team simply because as I said they want to be as cautious as they can because they know how detrimental this season is and they know how big of a season this is for the Clippers because you know the Clippers have to try to find a way to win a championship this year I said me personally I say bare minimum make a finals but I can definitely understand you you know you guys or anybody else out there that says it's championship or bust because pretty much that's what it is I just say that they bare minimum have to make the finals because they haven't at least got that far with all this talent they have on this team. With Kawhi and PG, if they're both healthy, 
they should have made a finals by now. But of course, health has been their Achilles heel. And we understand that. It's just that, you know, things have to start transpiring a lot more, you know, better for this team, quicker for this team. And they have to really find a way to put it together because uh, I can tell you, you know, the playoffs are going to come around pretty quick. And, you know, the way it is now, of course, the way you got the playing tournament and all these other things, you know, you got playing tournament, excuse me. And, you know, one through the six seed is pretty much the playoffs now. And with all that added, you know, uh, to the NBA now in regards to playoff seeding and positioning and all that, the Clippers don't want to find themselves as no, no six seed barely hanging on to a playoff spot where they might falter and, you know, put themselves in position to be in a playing tournament. Because as I said, that's winner take all one game. You know, that's not a seven game series. And of course, you know, the Clippers, I think they will be better than that. But I mean, it's very questionable because when you lose when you lose games against you know, a team like Utah. Now, Utah is eight and three, and I give them credit. But you know, honestly, the Clippers had that game. They had every they they had the game under wraps to me. You know, Paul George was scoring how he's supposed to, and everything. They just hit a wall in the fourth quarter. I feel like, and it just, you know, it 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 really just you know stopped their momentum. You know what I'm saying? Because they they couldn't knock down no threes, and this is the problem with the Clippers. As I said before, they live by the three, but they die by the three, and that's the reason why I don't feel like they could win a championship without Kawhi Leonard because he's more efficient with his shooting when he's out there and he's more cognizant of you know what shots he needs to take and when he needs to take them and when he needs to attack and when he needs to let his foot off the gas and use a little bit expend a little bit more energy on the defensive side Kawhi is very very seasoned mentally like that you know what I'm saying not every most players or no other player on the Clippers is seasoned that way and, and could do what he does. This is the reason why I said he's 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 so valuable to this team because he's the one player on this team that really gives them the balance that they don't have. I mean, he's efficient in his shooting. He's the he, he's the best player on the team when he's on the floor. And on top of that, he's the best defender on the team. I mean, no doubt about it when he's healthy. So, I mean, it's like he gives them that ultimate balance and that ultimate, you know, kick that they don't have without him. Even though Paul George is a really good player too. Paul George can put up big numbers, things like that, but he's just so inconsistent up and down. You know, it's 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 kind of really hard to, you know, uh, base it all around Paul George, even though they kind of have to right now until Kawhi Leonard gets back. But the main point of emphasis is they got to try to find a way to, you know, get Kawhi Leonard healthy because as I said before I don't really care about you know anything in regards to the season but I will say this um this team has to build chemistry this team this team regular season really counts to me because to me the Clippers never really found a way to build that chemistry that they should have big due to injuries and I, I'll say that due to injuries they never really I never really feel like they built that chemistry I feel like they win they've won you know seven game series they've won games throughout the season these last these several years these few years they've been together but I feel like they won mainly because of talent because the chemistry can't be there if if the available of the players isn't there and this is why I said you know I don't know what's going on with Kawhi you know in depth but I will say this uh, from what I'm hearing on my side just a few sources that you know his knee is fine you know um but like I said I can't give you a definite on that as of yet because I haven't you know you know I haven't got in-depth answers but in-depth answers excuse me but um just you know talking you know to certain people things like that I'm hearing that his, his knee is fine um it has a little bit of uh you know swelling you know possibly stiffness things like that but um other than that i mean it's 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 the natural growing pains of coming back from an acl trying to put a lot of pressure on it and you know overworking yourself a little too much that's what i'm that's what i've i've heard so far but as i said that's not 100 percent definite i'm gonna get more insight on that but that's what i've heard so far about Kawhi. so me personally i think he'll be fine i just think that 
the medical doctors are being overly precautious because he's not because he's not where he should be in regards to his knee, in regards to how he's playing, you know, things like that. He's not where he should be in regards to that because he doesn't he, he feels there's a little stiffness there and he, he doesn't feel comfortable too much with the stiffness because I guess he feel like the stiffness shouldn't be there by now. But what Kawhi has to realize, too, and the Clippers have to realize Kawhi put on some weight this offseason. I mean, Kawhi almost looks like you know a a bigger pretty much a bigger version of what he's always been he's never been you know big legs as strong as he is I mean he's always been a strong guy but Kawhi hasn't put on some weight and to me when you put on weight with uh, ACL or any type of knee even if he didn't have a knee injury when you put on weight like that you're putting pressure on that ACL now I know they say it's good to put add a little bit of strength you know um, around that you know get your thighs a little bit you know toned up tighter you know so I can give that ACL some support things like that but you know sometimes when you add a little bit too much weight it can really weigh you down more and it can put more pressure on that knee when you're just doing certain cuts and spins and you know pivots and turns and things like that so I personally think too that they're also you know telling Kawhi you know maybe you know maybe maybe lose scale back on a scale back a few pounds you know lose a little bit of that get more in shape and in the condition that you're usually in and you'll put less pressure on that knee this way you'll be able to go out there and maybe feel less stiffness when you're out there playing a long period of time in an actual NBA game. So I feel like that's a part of what they're doing as well as far as his treatment. As I said before, personally, I think he'll be fine unless any other like major report comes out or something like that. But, um, you know, I think uh, Kawhi, another thing, you know, we always talk about Kawhi, you know, he's never going to play unless he's 100 percent. And that's always been Kawhi Leonard. That's always been his 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 motto. So if that's how he thinks, then. You know, some of this could be in Kawhi's head, too. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he's feeling the stiffness and he's thinking, oh, maybe I should get more treatment. I'm not feeling right or something like that. But as I said before, a lot of times off of ACL, you're going to feel that stiffness. You're going to feel a little bit of that. It's just going to be there. You have to kind of, like, play through it and see how you can get past it. And I believe he will. And I believe he will be back for the Clippers soon enough. I believe he'll be back. If I had to take a guess, I would say their next four games, Ty Lu said he didn't expect Kawhi Leonard to be back on Yahoo Sports and but you know the progressing and everything is going well so I would say you know after I'd say another week or two I think you will probably see Kawhi Leonard hear more about his whereabouts in regards to him being with the team and playing and everything like that I just think that you know Kawhi needs to scale back on the pounds just cut you know maybe lose about 10 to 15 pounds you know take take a little bit more pressure off that knee since he gained so much weight and everything like that he did gain muscle I'm not going to say he gained fat or anything because he's not like that at all. But my point is, sometimes that can actually be, you know, a part of the reason you know why that knee might aggravate a little bit because that type of you know weight and pressure is not you know um you know it's not meant you know for a situation like that in a lot of in a lot of uh situations so as i said before we'll see what happens but you know based upon you know everything that's being out there about Kawhi now he's still listed as day-to-day um he's still um you know listed as you know he can play pretty much as questionable play pretty much any night at any point you know hopefully the Clippers are not you know um hiding information from us about a situation like this hopefully it's not more major than what it is you know and they're just hiding information but um hopefully everything will be okay I believe it will be you know based upon the sources that I've spoke to but you know I'm definitely going to get more insight on that as I said and we'll go further with that and we'll see and look into it and um you know hopefully all for the best comes out of that situation but hey, that's my take on everything. You leave any comments in the comment section. You check out my other videos if you haven't. And hey, till next time.